We love avocados in this house, which also means that we make a ton of guacamole. But I need to up the ante on my everyday recipe by bringing in a ringer. I love my everyday guacamole recipe, but it literally was time to take it up a notch. So I brought my good friend, yay! Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking, who has a new cookbook. What? Yeah. Absolutely avocados, and she's here because she's gonna teach me your what jazzed up, pumped up avocado recipe. Today we're gonna do what's on the cover. It's my goat cheese guacamole, and it's really hard for me to pick a favorite in the book but because it's like picking your favorite child, but I think this one might win. It's so good, and who puts goat cheese in guacamole? It's such a good idea. Uh, it's the best idea because it like totally takes it up a notch. Okay, you're gonna show me how to make it. Right, so we're just gonna start with three avocados. I just use Haas avocados. It's the easiest thing to find in the store. And to that, we're gonna add a third of a cup of goat cheese. Now talk to me about avocados. Like, how do you pick a perfect avocado? Okay, so sometimes the stores have overripe avocados and it's a huge bummer because you get home, it's brown, and you're like, what? So you can, on the top of the avocado, you can sometimes see the little nub on top and if you flick it off and it's bright green underneath, it's perfect. Oh, that means it's great. Or you just want to feel it and you don't want it to be like, Gushy, yeah. like you just kind of want you it know. to know. Like when yeah. you push it, you can feel that brown spot. Yeah, inside. you don't want that. You just want it to have a little bit of a give. Right. So that's perfect. And then the goat cheese, giving it tang. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of tanginess, and it kind of spices it up, and not spices it up, but it gets you know gives it some some flavor. Zest, zest. Okay. Some flavor. Okay. And then, so we're gonna add a fourth a cup of chopped chives, fresh chives. I love chives. And it's just different to use than cilantro. Yeah, and right? the chives are always the one thing in my garden that absolutely live through storms, through frost. It grows like grass. It grows like grass. It's amazing. Love. And then sun dried tomatoes, throw them in. And do you want, like, could you use oil packed, just regular dried? Whatever you want, whatever's on hand, it's easy. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt. This is like the quintessential party recipe. It's perfect. I feel like it's to it's different enough that people are gonna be like, oh my god. What is this? Yeah. I know, it's amazing. Sometimes I add pepper. If you have kids at home, you totally don't have to. Perfect. Whatever they want. And then we're just gonna juice some fresh lemon juice. And I was reading in the book, there are over 80 recipes and you even have desserts. Like you have oh vegetarian, you really let appeal to anyone and everyone. Well, avocados, you can just eat them all the time. They're amazing. They're healthy like, food. They go with everything. Breakfast, lunch, dessert, skin, dinner, whatever. I'm obsessed. Hair. Okay. Yeah, you can totally, like a little avocado face mask. Good, good. I've totally done it before. Okay, so anyway, you Anyway, we're just gonna use a fork and mash this all up. I'm that person who always just wants to eat guacamole <laughs> with a spoon. There's nothing wrong with that. Chips or child's play. <laughs> I, want, I want just a big fat spoon for it. You just want it kind of half smooth, half chunky. Mm -hmm. And where did your avocado obsession come from? Well, okay, funny story. As a child, I hated avocados. I was like, what? I was like, no, I don't eat green things. What's going on? How do you end up like becoming the person that you know? So makes the most we of? moved from Chicago to Arizona, and when we moved to Arizona, my parents took everyone out that helped us move to this Mexican restaurant, and the server put this big bowl of guacamole in front of me. I threw a fit, straight up like hissy fit in the restaurant, <laughs> and my mom said, "You can have a no thank you helping." So I had a no thank you helping, and then I was like. Oh my god. It's the greatest thing And ever. I just kept eating it with a spoon. And I was five, and basically I haven't stopped since. But see, that's a perfect example <laughs> of a five-year-old that says, I don't like it, I don't yeah. like it, and turns around and ends up loving it. I had just never tried it before, so but, yeah. I mean, I want to. I gotta do a ching-ching with, do you want a chip or do you want it on no, the spoon? No, spoons. We're like, right? this is the way to go. Ching-ching! <laughs> I mean, absolutely avocados, you gotta get it. Mm, for more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, Check out Relicious.com. Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe and watch. This is insane. <laughs>